Hello and welcome to JG3 Reviews. My name is James and today I've got another fountain pen for you. This one might look familiar to those of you who have been around pens for quite a while and it may be familiar for a couple of reasons. It may or may not be what you think it is. I bought this pen because I was curious about its design, about you know, uh, how well does it or does it not write? And I'm a bit confused. I'm a bit, well, let's just take a closer look at the pen and see why. Okay, so what we have here is the Bauer 79, which looks an awful lot like that other pen. So let's look at the design. And this is what I'm going to tell you first off. Uh, not that long ago, I was actually looking at the, uh, the Skywalker, the Mont Blanc not to buy because I was looking at it because I had seen pictures, I'd seen video and everything else. And then uh, months ago, I was found myself in a pen store and they had some there and I was looking at it and all I could think was, I don't get it, <laughs> okay? I don't get it. Now, some of you are automatically, uh, you're putting me on your, well, I don't like him anymore list. That's fine. That's okay. You know, pins are a matter of taste, and I'm not saying it's a matter of having it or lacking it. It's a matter of we all have different things that float our boat. And so there are some people uh, that really love this pin. Uh, and or love, excuse me, they really love the Mont Blanc pen. And some, and I've actually seen some videos where people really love this pen and, and read some reviews as well. And here's what I'm going to say. One, we'll look at the writing test, and I think you'll see why some people have uh, bought this pen and then said, you know what, I like it. Uh, but on design, yeah, it just, for me, I bought this almost in part as a curiosity to see, am I, am I just wrong? Am I looking at this and, and, and just being too, no, no, nah, it's just not my thing. Uh, one of the things that make this pen stand out, just this, I'm going to say this design because it's not really this pen's design and you know that and I know that. Uh, one of the things that make this design stand out uh, is one, it, it's kind of an unusual shape. You've got all this stuff going on down here. You've got uh, the crisscross pattern that is there, and that is true of the original design as well. Bauer has done a good job of that. Now, that didn't line up, but that's because I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's not, maybe it just doesn't line up. Uh, I was thinking I had over tightened it, but it doesn't really feel that way. Anyway, it's well done. It's well machined. I think this pen is, is a good pen based on those things. Uh, the clip is good and stiff and functional. I, one thing I don't care for about the clip, and I don't mean this to all just be things I don't like, but you know, you, if you've watched my videos, you know that I like to stand the cap over there out of my way so it doesn't go flying, although sometimes it still finds a way to fly. Look at what this thing does. The clip is too long for the cap, and it's designed that way. You know, that's what somebody made a decision and said, hey, I think I like that. Uh, no, I don't. And, uh, I, you know, it's not like it actually serves extra function doing that. It's, it's just not form follows function, is it? It's uh, function follows form. And... You have in the in the original design, you have this uh, acrylic clear whatever <laughs> dome uh, at, at finial at the end of the cap here, the top of the cap, and this is something that people just ooh and ah over in the Mont Blanc uh, cap here. You have the floating Mont Blanc logo, and and you'll hear people talk about it as if you know somebody's created a planet or something. Uh, just the the tremendous amount of work that it takes in order to be able to get that thing to float. I'm sure that it takes extra skill, but it's 2020. Uh, if you've been a tourist in Moscow on the Novi Arbat, you have seen plenty of acrylic with things floating in it, and. That's true all over the world in tourist traps. So it's hard for me to look at that and say, oh, wow, you know? Uh, instead, I look at it and go, well, yeah, they've been doing that forever all over the place in every tourist trap I've ever seen. So, you know, I, I don't know. I know that's kind of harsh, but, but it is what it is. And uh, now I'm thinking of the Jerry Seinfeld joke. It is what it is. Why don't you just blow in their face because you haven't said anything? Okay. 
anyway. Uh, that doesn't impress me on the original, uh, but it does make me wonder why. Somebody said about this pen, and I don't remember who, it's been way too many months since I saw that, uh, you know, that, you know, Hero just didn't have the technology. Well, I, I doubt that. There's about 16 different ways that you could easily do that. Uh, again, go to a tourist trap and ask, ask them for the number of the company that does it. Uh, it it's, it's, you see people do this stuff all the time. You see it on YouTube all the time. It's, it's not magic. Uh, and I think it would have been pretty cool. I think actually it might have changed my impression if Hero had actually gone that one more step instead of kind of, you know, just wandering off and put their own logo. It didn't even have to float. Even if it had just been in the bottom, and I'm pointing on the camera, if it had been in the bottom and you were just able to see it through there, it would have felt like a bit more effort. And maybe they didn't do that because maybe they thought that would be the straw that got them in trouble. I don't know, the straw that broke the camel's back and got a lawyer. I don't know, uh, but it, it just seems like it could have, could have been done. Other than that, you know, it's well made. I'm going to tell you that uh, because it's not like I don't like Bauer or it's not like I have anything against the pen. Uh, it's just not my favorite design. A couple of things I do like though. Why don't I tell you some things I like? Uh, when you open up the pen, you'll see that these threads are pretty dull. And that is why I think I have trouble with this pen drying out a lot. If I don't use it very often, it's, it's, uh, it's gonna dry out and I'm gonna have to at least wet the nib or clean the pen out. You can't just leave pen and, uh, ink in it, walk away for several weeks and come back. It's not a platinum preppy. Uh, just can't do it. And I think the dull threads are a part of that. Maybe some silicone on that would help, but I can't stand putting silicone on threads that you're actually going to touch while writing. And on this pen, it's a short section. You're going to be touching those threads. And so I don't put it on there. But if I were going to store it for a while, I might and then wipe it off when I got it back out. Uh, but I just don't store it with ink at all. One of the things I like, I told you something, I was going to say what I liked, and then I went into something else that bothered me. I'm sorry. It's one of those days. <laughs> it's one of those pins. Uh, these threads match. You might not have thought those were threads. They look like just rings. But these are threads, and this cap, when you post it, uh, threads on. I like that, okay? See, there's something I like. I think that's cool. It may be uh, original design was that way too, but I do, I do like that. And you're going to need to do that because they made the clip too long. I'm sorry. I started doing that again. Uh, anyway, uh, I do like that. Uh, this little thin knobby thing, and that's weird to me, but whatever. Let's look at the nib. This would be one of the things that I generally like. I find that Bauer I can get the camera to focus, and wow, do I have a mess. Uh, Bauer makes a decent nib in their, in their market, in their price range. You know, this is a sub $4 pen sometimes, and uh, it generally writes well. You know, as long as it flows, as long as you haven't let it dry out, then this is going to be a good writing nib, as you'll see in the writing sample. So that I like. It writes well. This step up is a little sharp, so some people are going to find that a little uncomfortable, but if you hold it uh, right down here, it's, it's going to be less so. And so, you know, just short to moderate writing times, then I find it a comfortable pen. But it is, this is not the style of pen you would normally use to write for hours anyway. So, you know, that's, that's fine. Let's open it up. This is, of course, an all-metal pen. It does come with things I like. It does come with a converter. And uh, their, their converters are fine. They're not high-end converters, but they get the job done. I've never had one leak. I haven't had one fail. So uh, that's all well and good. And, of course, all of this up here, the section, if I didn't mention it already, is all metal. So that is all just fine. It has a plastic feed like so many pens these days. And all of that works well. It, function is fine. Uh, I find the function is fine except for that drying out thing. Uh, but that's just not the biggest deal in the world, even if I've said it several times. So, I, you know, overall in terms of the way it's built, I find it to be, especially for the price, a well-built pen. And I think that you will also find that the writing sample will show you that it's a pen that does its job well. And so if you like the style, you know, you don't have to be like me. You can like this style. If you like the style, you may find this a pen that you like. Now let's look at that writing sample. All right, so let's take a look at how this writes. This is the Bauer 
Sometimes I see that not just 79, but with a zero in front of it. So I'm gonna do that for fun today. It's a medium nib. And as you can see, for a Chinese pen, this is really uh, kind of a broad medium. Uh, but doing nicely, this blue, I really wish I could remember what it is. But I just don't, I've had it, this ink in the pen for a little while, and I just don't remember what that is. It's too dark to be what I think it was. Now, I thought I put Pelican Royal Blue, but that's, that's not this dark, so I don't know. And it's riding pretty wet. It does almost look like uh, that royal blue. So, I don't know, maybe. If I were only basing my judgment of this pen on how it's writing right here while you're watching, I say it's a great pen. It actually is, it's pretty comfortable to write with. I just got through uh, writing with a pen that was a bit thicker, which is what I like, and so this feels maybe more thin than it would have if I'd just written straight, pick this one up. That hourglass and then that step up, this part's comfortable. That step has a little bit of a sharp corner on it that maybe a long writing session would not be so great. As you can see, the scribble test. It passes. Uh, the scribble test. If, if this were the only impression I had of this pen, this writing sample right here, I would really like the pen. Okay, and, and it does. It, it writes fine. I, I generally find that Bauer uh, makes a decent nib, especially for the price point. Again, not even four dollars. And uh, so I think for four dollars, uh, the quality of the pen actually is uh, tremendous and uh, could probably, you know, quadruple that and still be a very good quality pen. Really, my only two issues are those that I brought up earlier. It tends to dry out on me, and I think that's a design issue. Uh, those threads are broad for a purpose, but those broad threads don't provide a great seal. And so I think that's what the issue is there, because I put, you know, uh, I'm pretty sure that is what that is, uh, uh, Pelican Blue, and I think it probably is darker because it started to dry out and concentrate a little bit. Um, but it did write. It did actually write this time uh, after being left alone for a while. So that's actually, that's good. I didn't have to wet the nib or anything, but usually wetting the nib will fix it. So, you know, not really the biggest deal. Uh, I guess the big deal breaker for me would be, I just think it's too odd looking. And, uh, you know, even if it said Mont Blanc on it and had the floating label, I would feel the same way. And so uh, that's just a personal preference issue. Some of you are gonna really like this pen. And if you like that design, then you know, I don't see how you beat this for less than four bucks. Uh, if you just, you want a pen, but you don't wanna pay the crazy price, you just kinda like the general design, then, uh, you know, go for it. It is, it is well put together. Okay. Like I say, I think it's the threads. I think it's a design issue that it dries out. It's well put together. The nib, as you can see, has a good line. Uh, certainly for the price range, this is a good nib. And yeah, if, if you like it, if it floats your boat, knock yourself out. And until, uh, until next week, God bless you. I, I hope that you have a good day.